Hey, this is Hide Yamagishi. We are here with Richie Gaspari. We're gonna show you real intense training. Hey, sets and reps are not really what training's about. I always gotta, you know, show people about what the intensity is about. Now, pass. Yes. Two. Let's get started. Intensity and training a muscle to failure. That's the whole part of like getting that muscle to grow. First exercise. This is a lap pull down to the front. As you can see, this is a different uh, bar. We are using a paddle grip. This bar, you can actually hit whole upper body. That's it. So gradually increase the weight, then uh, less uh, repetition. So this is the first set. So it's gonna be 15 to 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your chest high and I squeeze your lats right here. Yes. Eight, nine, ten. I like in between the sets also and stretching my lats. A full stretch. A lot of times, guys, you know, after they do like a lat, you know, you start flexing your lats too to spread them out. Helps as well. It's a variation, drop set. We're doing 10 laps with 195, then going 150, 10 laps again, then again, 105 pounds, 10 laps. So without less. Which Here's the thing, with little rest, even though it's not, a lot of times we can do the stack, with little rest, the weight becomes much heavier. Eight, nine, 10. Oh. It. Good. So, last put down front power grip, four set, first three set, 15 reps, then last set, triple drop set, 10 reps each, so total 30 reps. Next exercise, seated, seated cable roll. Again, it's a variation, you could go like that the V bar, or you could go straight bar. But today, we're gonna use this handle. It's good again. because you can actually spread it out, get a better contraction. As we go back, you can really squeeze center, middle, back. So when you do this exercise, it's very important not to go too far back. So try to keep your chest up. And, uh, <coughs> keep your back straight <coughs> so you're not using <coughs> too much your lower back. <coughs> Just focus on your <coughs> middle back. As we go by set, we increase weight gradually, but we keep reps around 15. Five, six, seven, eight, uh, this is more the center lats. Really good for. Also working the lower lat. As he, as he goes back, he's really contracting right here in the center. You know, guys, when they do a, a back double bicep, they call it the triangle. You know, you see in your back, that's where it's hitting direct. Nice. I got it. Yeah. Don't touch it. Come on. Four. Nice. Five. Five. Yep. Oh. It's no joke. This is serious. This is like fun <laughs> training. Hard, intense, and challenging in our body. Okay. Yep. Uh, the key right. for successful workouts is not to take too long less between sets. So if you have a training partner like we are doing, just you go, I go, you go, I go. So no less. So we did a three sets. Keep reps 15. Here's a really effective exercise. Basically old school exercise back, you know, when I competed all the way back to Arnold. This was used basically to work more the lower lat, kind of like that shell. Can you look like a turtle when you're doing a, a lat spread? This is great for it. Eight, 
nine, ten, one, two, three. We're gonna stay with the 15 reps and burn it out. Quick pace, since we're older, we're trying to train a muscle for failure without hurting ourselves. Keep in mind, you always need to switch around. Of course, we still go heavy sometimes, like eight to 10 laps. But today, again, we're doing different variation. It's very important to do a full range of motion. Great variation to work the lats, pullover, pullovers with reverse pull downs. You're actually like pre exhausting doing these, and then you're doing a, a direct close grip reverse grip pull down, which works right on the insertion of lats, not on the lower lats. <laughs> This is probably the only exercise you can hit that without using a biceps. So uh, only the one isolation exercise for back is pullover. This particular machine, because you have a pad here, so make sure you go or push toward the elbow, not your hand, elbow. So elbow lead the exercise all the way. Stretch. All the way stretch. So now we are doing superset. Make sure our lats is fully pumped. After these three exercises, your lats should be really tired. Oh, nice. Yep. Three. That's quick, no rest, not really heavy weight. Still training the muscle to failure. I'm gonna go you know, a little bit heavier, but like I said, normally if you're doing them just slow, you know, six, eight, 10 reps, you can do double the weight we're using. This is very important. You feel not just pump, a like pump. You feel almost your muscle explode. That's how you feel when you do great workout. <sighs> No rest. Then <laughs> over and roll. This is the one exercise. It's very effective. It's basic exercise. But one thing I gotta mention is a lot of guys doing it wrong. If you're a newbie or beginner, you do this properly. It's gonna put mass on your body. So grab the bubble, shoulder width, so right here. Then your stance is also the shoulder width. I would say your hip width, you know, same thing. Then going down, 45 degree, 45 degree or a little lower. Then uh, pull bubble to your stomach. You gotta have a good back too for doing this because if you have a bad lower back, don't be doing these. Sometimes you can go a little heavier and uh, your torso a little bit higher. That way you can hit lower lats. But most of the time, guys going too heavy. So you have to go all the way up, almost like a shrug. This is wrong. Super Pump Max, some Glycofuse.
first set, you and me will do 100 reps. Then we're going to go, say we're going to pick 125. So we're going to start here, 12, 12, 12, 12, then 12, 12, 12, 12, back up. What I did was something a little different. I went with what's called up and down the rack. So it's just another method of going to intensity. So you're going light at the beginning. You're only hitting certain muscle fibers at 10 to 12 reps. And then what you're doing is you're dropping, you're increasing weight each set, uh, 12 reps, till you get to a, a weight that you, you can hit 12 reps to failure. Um, and what you're doing is you're just getting into inner fiber. You're getting into deep fiber tissue that you're hitting and you're going to that point of failure. And then when you get to the point of failure, then what you're doing again is you're going back up like a drop set all the way so you can, you know, so you can do only 12 reps on your last set of your lightest weight. Can you do this? Who created it? One. I did. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go. One, two, three, four. And putting time over tension, you're just pushing the muscle. Complete failure. And then back up the stack as we just keep doing a descending set. So you're hitting every fiber of the muscle in doing this. Ah. Last one, last one, go. 50 pounds. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Slow more reps, fast and slow. You want to try 30 reps? Eight, nine, ten, one. Four, five, six, seven. I was thinking of doing like five slow, five fast, five slow, five fast. So, uh, 15 reps. The brain doesn't know how much weight we are lifting. The brain knows how intense how intense it is. So it's gotta be intense, you know, rather than just to go too heavy. Two, three, four, ah. Yep, now, so, yeah. yep. Four. Five, <clears throat> five fast. One, two, three. Tempo, rep, speed. Change these in the entire workout. How was that? Fire. <laughs> that fire. I gotta tell you, out of all my athletes, I enjoy training with Hide. Cause I like to, he likes always doing stuff I do to challenge, you know, the workout. And we have good workouts. Yeah. Right? Every time. <laughs> well, how? How you can say no to which gets power. <laughs> yeah. Whatever he's saying. Yeah. That's how we do. That's how we do it. We don't screw around. Me and he day.